Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela here on this channel. I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and particularly for the woman over 40. Um, I haven't created one of these videos in probably a, a couple of months. Um, videos where I'm pulling together looks from my closet for next week, what I'm gonna wear next week. And this time, I'm still gonna be pulling together looks from my closet, but I have some inspiration. Now, when I'm out, just out and about, or if I'm watching, uh, YouTube videos or I'm looking on Vogue or I'm looking on the internet doing whatever if I see a look that inspires me I immediately snap a picture of it and that's why I have over 8,000 uh, pictures and videos in my phone but I will snap a picture of it and use it as a style inspiration later on it just it just I do it all the time so I decided this week I use some of those pictures to inspire me to choose looks from my closet for next week. So if you like to see the looks that I put together based on pictures that have inspired me recently, then stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Before I get started, this is my outfit of the day. This dress is comfortable and cute. Look at her. Now, if you all know me, you've been watching, navy is not one of my favorite colors, but you all said it looks nice on me. So I said, let me just, let me just step outside of my box and try some navy pieces, some solid navy pieces. And I do love this. I think this is really, really pretty. So there's a dress. It has a little slit on the side. It doesn't go all the way up, but this is what it looks like. It's long sleeve. It's V-neck here. This kind of scrunches up. You can loosen this and it'll just kind of flatten out. This is what looked like in the back. Wait a minute, ma'am. My microphone is back there. So this is the back. Very, very comfortable and straight from Amazon. It does come in 16 colors. So I have this one and I have a brown shade and it comes in yeah, 16 colors in size small to a size extra large. And I am wearing a size small. So this is a really, really nice dress and it looks really good with these booties, huh? I've had these for several years buttery soft leather they are they're just perfect i love them they're very comfortable i've had these on and walked probably a couple of blocks and my feet did not hurt me so but i'll leave a link to the boots and a link to the dress in the description box below here she is it's really cute okay so this is look number one this look was inspired by a picture i saw and a young lady had on red booties just like these, but they were red and I really want me some. So now I'm gonna have to be on the lookout <laughs> for some red booties before the season is over. But her booties um, matched a print. I think she on a plaid blazer and it had some red in it. So her boots pulled out the red and the blazer. Don't have red booties, but I do have these that I purchased from Sam Elderman a few years ago. And I thought they matched this blazer perfectly. She also had on Bermuda shorts and I have these denim Bermuda shorts and a, I don't even know what color shirt she had on, but I just paired it with my white shirt. I thought this looked really nice. It's a cute, very, very intentional outfit. The denim goes very well with the tweed blazer and the white shirt. Of course, you can't go wrong with a white shirt. And I paired it with this really cute, I think, what do you call this? Oxblood red or maroon purse, straight from Amazon. Um, I was not willing to pay $2,500 for the real version. It's a dupe of a Bottega bag, but I thought this was cute, just completely different from the other colors in the outfit, but it's a dark wintry type color, so I thought it would match really well with it. This is comfortable, this is cute. It's um, uh, almost a masculine uh, out looking outfit, but I'm, you know, I'm very feminine. I have feminine energy, so I, I thought it was really fun, and I will definitely enjoy wearing this next week. So you can see the blazer here. You can see the purse, here are the shoes, and this is really, really cute and comfortable. It's very comfortable. The booties aren't pointed toe, they aren't uh, a thin skinny heel, so they're gonna be very, very comfortable to walk in, but this is a great outfit to start my week off. 
So this is look number two. I was definitely inspired by this one as well. The young lady in the picture had on straight distressed jeans. I don't have any kind of fitted straight leg distressed jeans. I do want a pair, so that'll be on my to buy list. But I do have these jeans that I've had probably a year or so from Zara. They're oversized. They are extremely comfortable. They do have distressing. The plaid shirt I got from Amazon. I recently bought these. I bought this one and I bought a green one to match my sneakers. So I have on my pink and blue Jordan. So I thought this would look perfect with that and it does. This is an outfit that I'm gonna wear when I'm gonna be out all day long shopping. <coughs> Don't you put that in there. I know you're gonna do it. This is an outfit I'm gonna wear when I know I'm gonna be out all day long. I'm gonna be shopping. I'm gonna be doing a lot of running. The sneakers are gonna make certain that my feet are comfortable. My feet don't start hurting. Now the young lady in the in the picture did have a um, kind of belt bag purse right in there. I do have one of those, but I just, it was, I wasn't feeling it. So I do have on my Dior, uh, Dior, <laughs> my Dior saddle bag, which is blue and tan. So I thought it would look really cute with this outfit. It matches perfectly, but this is a very comfortable, very easy, some oversized jeans, some sneakers, a shirt with the color of the jeans and the sneakers in it and the purse. So it's a very monochromatic, but easy, comfortable look and it is blue it has shades different shades of blue in it but this is definitely me because i'm going to be warm with this this shirt is really warm it really is now if it's really really cold outside i'll probably still put a jacket on on top of it but this is definitely me it's comfortable very very casual but very winter appropriate Okay, so this is the next look, and I can honestly say this is probably more me than all of the other looks. I love my jeans. Y'all know I love my jeans, and yes, they are skinny. They're my Levi High Rise skinny jeans, and they are my favorite. Um, and I love me a good heel. Th these are Jimmy Choo's, by the way, and they're navy. They're not black. They're navy blue. They're four-inch heels, and I threw on this black cardigan, and I love, love, love love myself a good head wrap and a plain white t-shirt with layers of uh, necklaces this is just a really cute comfortable i'm going out for lunch i'm not going to be doing a lot of walking now she, she's not going to be doing a lot of walking um but i'm going to be out and about but I, and and i'm going to look cute doing it but this is really really pretty just and now if you don't have a long black blaze you could do a short blazer or a short cardigan you could mix this up with a colorful cardigan you can mix your t-shirt up and do a printed t-shirt this look can be modified so so many ways and this look is going to look fantastic on everyone now, if you don't like a head wrap you don't have to do a head wrap you can leave your hair out you can wear a hat you can wear a solid colored head wrap. There are just so many ways that you could really modify this. And if you don't wear heels, you can wear this outfit with flats. Personally, if I was going to be out all day long and I really wanted to do this look, I would throw on some sneakers. So that way my feet are not going to hurt. I'm gonna have this look. It's gonna be a lot more casual, but my feet are not going to hurt. But this is so, so cute. So if you like this outfit and it inspires you to create something similar, let me know in the comments what you would do differently what pieces you would change up and what pieces you would add in place of those other pieces. You could even change up your purse to something colorful or more neutral or whatever, but the entire outfit is just easy breezy, just a really, really great outfit to pull together. So this is the next look. When I saw the picture with the lady with the gold boots and I was like, oh, that is a perfect outfit. I have something that I can put together that's similar to that. So it was so inspiring to me. Now, don't say nothing about my legs. Y'all know my legs skinny. But they're not too, too skinny in these boots. I have found a cobbler in Dallas where I'm gonna take several of my boots and have the top of the boot taken in just a little bit so they fit my legs a little bit better. But I think this look is so, so cute. I love the gold boots, of course, and my um, Bermuda shorts. And because the Bermuda shorts are so wide and big and straight leg and the boots are saying a lot. I wanted the top to be simple. I wanted to be understated. So, and I wanted to be fitted. So I got this black turtleneck 
so it doesn't really make, make much of a statement. And also, I wanted there to be an easy transition between the shirt and the shorts, so I put on my matte black Valentino belt, so you it's not drawing attention here, because the boots are speaking volumes. I don't need anything else to talk at all. The boots are, are where it's at. Now, I would pair this with a black short coat, and a black purse, again, because the boots are speaking volumes, I don't want anything else to clash with them, but this is a very, very beautiful outfit in my opinion. It's something I would have definitely probably not thought of, but I'm so glad I saw the picture because I love, love, love this look. I love it. And I do have a pair, I think I have a pair, I have a pair of dressy black Bermuda shorts as well. That would look great with this as well, but this is the look. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all understand the maneuvering. <laughs> the maneuvering I had to go through to get this microphone up on this turtleneck. So the microphone is in my pocket, up the back of my shirt, to the front, under my bra strap, around, across here, and out this side right here. But I did it. My husband is not here to help me today, but I did it. It was, it was a lie. But back to the outfit. Is this not cute? Definitely. Oh, I would definitely wear this with just with this um, YSL purse. Understated. It's going to look perfect. Black, black short jacket is what I would wear. This if it was freezing cold, I'd wear it with a black coat, but definitely, definitely is. And I could switch this look out with some other boots. I don't have to wear the gold. I can wear any of the other ones. This would look fantastic with the blue boots or with the pink boots. It would look wonderful, even the snake print boots. So. This is a great outfit and I will probably redo this again and again, but with the different boots until it gets cold. I'm sorry, until it gets warm outside. Okay, family, this is my final look and I love, love, love this look. And I know there's a lot going on. There are three different prints, plus all the colors that are in my sneakers, but uh, there is some animal print on the sneakers and it has that red and I love red with camo. It looks good with green, it looks good with brown. But there are three different prints going on, but what you'll see is the brown in the camo, the brown in this one, and the brown in the belt all pull together to make it really, really work. And I have a brown purse as well. But I, I think this looks really good together. So that's what you can remember. If you're trying to pull prints together, pair different prints together, pick a color out of the prints. If you have a red in this print and a red in this print, then more than likely the prints are gonna look really nice together. It doesn't always work, but it works a lot of the time. And here you can see I have the brown here and the brown there the brown in the belt and the brown purse. And so I feel like they really work well together. And for a pop of color, I put on these colorful sneakers because why they're colorful and I think they're pretty. And they also have a little animal print on the side and in the back. So I think it looks really well. This is a very, very comfortable, very comfortable. This would be the perfect outfit for me to wear to the movies. I love me an animal print belt. I think this looks fantastic. I just wore a regular white t-shirt. Well, it's not regular white, it's a Celine t-shirt, but it's a white t-shirt because I didn't want to distract from all the other prints. I didn't want to do a graphic tee. I thought a white tee would look better with this outfit. And it's actually a neutral outfit minus, <laughs> minus the shoes, but it's a very, very comfortable comfortable outfit. These are real camo pants. I purchased these at an um, Army Navy surplus store. So they're real military grade camo pants and they were really inexpensive. Well, I think they might've been like $40, $40, but they'll last a long time work through many, 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 many washes. But this is the final outfit and I thought it was really cute and I will really enjoy wearing this this week. I probably will wear this on Friday when I'm when I'm really out and about a lot and this, the weather should hopefully be a little bit warmer. But this is the final outfit. Let me know what you think and let me know which outfit you like the best. As a matter of fact, uh, give me a score of one to five, which one you like the best, uh, down to which one you like the least. I don't know which, which one did I like the best. I don't know which one I like the best. This one, this one is up there. This is very, very comfortable and very me as well, mixing these prints. So just let me know. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section which outfit you like the best. And uh, you can go ahead and put which one you did not enjoy quite as much. I like them all, obviously. I will be wearing them this week. 
I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. But before I go, um, have you subscribed? Are you a member of the Angela Michelle YouTube family? If you have not, I would greatly appreciate your support and appreciate you subscribing because it tells YouTube that you enjoy my content. Now, no matter where you are in the world, I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.